Are you looking to replace the piston and seal pack in a Clack WS1 water treatment valve? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy. I own the Water East Store and the Water Store in Midland. If this is your first visit to my YouTube channel, welcome. Click the link in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. That's our subscribe button. It'll take you right to our YouTube channel. There's hundreds of water treatment videos on there. Great information for you and your family. I'd also like to encourage you to watch this video right to the end because I'm going to have a link to a playlist that's going to take you to all our water softener videos and uh, great information for you and your family. To disassemble the valve or to replace the piston and or um, seal pack, the first thing that you would do is you would regenerate the water softener. So you hold down the regen button for five seconds until you hear the motor start up like you have right now. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to put the bypass valve into the bypass position. So what that's going to do, it's going to, when it gets to the backwash and starts counting down as it does right now, it's going to release all the pressure that's inside the valve. So, so then we're going to remove the face plate, grab it on both sides at the back and uh, pull that off. And uh, so now what you're going to want to do is uh, disconnect the power. So the power is right here. So we just pull that down and then you can disconnect the meter and uh, the motor actually can stay connected. So now you're going to want to remove this whole assembly here. So you're just going to pull these wires aside and there's two clips on either side here. You don't need to undo this one in the center, just the two on either side. So you can pull those up and this comes right out. So now you need to remove the, the, the drive assembly. I like to use the clack tool for that. You can actually wedge a screwdriver inside there a flat bladed screwdriver and then turn it. Um, I don't like it doing it that way. It's much easier doing it this way, but whichever works for you. So you just loosen that up. And uh, so obviously this one is in my store here, so there's no water in here, but there would be water leaking out at this point. Uh, not under pressure, but just the whatever water is inside the valve. So then you just unscrew the drive assembly. Once it's loose, you just gently pull that out. Oh, there is a little bit of water in this one. And uh, pull that out. And uh, you can see, so here we have the seal pack, and here we have the piston, and this is the regenerant piston. So if, if, you, if this is a, a water softener or an FOB or an FOC, it would be exactly like it is here. If it's just a filter, a backwashing filter, it wouldn't have the regenerant piston here. So, except the, all right, so then this can be disassembled. Now, if you want to clean this, you can just soak this in a iron out or a product like that, clean all this up and put it back in. If you are going to put the same piston back in, I always recommend that you lightly sand the outside of this um, just to clean it up. And to reassemble, it's the, the reverse of the procedure. Put the seal pack in. And we just put in the drive assembly. Now you don't want to reef this in here, but you do want to make it a little more than hand tight. So again, using the clock disassembly tool, just tighten that up a little bit. There you go. And then we're going to reattach this. Slip that inside there. And this has to snap all the way down. You need to make sure it snaps all the way back and all the way in. Then the two connections here for the power and for the meter. And again, if you are on a time clock type situation, like for an iron filter or something like that, you probably won't have a meter, but you would plug in the meter next. And the last thing you plug in is the 12 volt power right there. Once you plug that in, as you can see, it's going to go through its uh, startup procedure and it's going to take the valve back to the home position. While we're waiting for that to happen, we can put the faceplate back on. All right, then you can, uh, you can set the current time, whatever that is. And, uh, and then you can put it uh, back into service. Obviously, we would do that slowly, slowly open up the the inlet from the bypass to repressurize the system, make sure that we don't have any leaks. If we don't have any leaks, you can turn it off. If the water softener has been off or the iron sulfur filter, whatever this is, if it's been off for a period of time, you can regenerate it now. Uh, press down the button, hold it down for five seconds, regenerate it, you're back in business.
If you're looking for a free shipping and discount pricing on any of the items we discussed here today, just click this link up here. It'll take you right to our e-commerce store. Just order it online, we'll ship it out to you. And that's it. If you like this side today, please click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, if you'd like to learn some more about uh, water treatment, especially water softeners, click this link up here and take you right to our playlist. Lots of information, how they work, how to do maintenance and repairs. You'll really appreciate it and it can definitely help with water treatment for your family. Like some more information about our products, you can go to our websites, either watereastore.com or thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy. Thanks for watching.